Are you ready to see somebody's need for speed? Oh, I can put our wings in the wind faster than you could ever believe. Oh, are you ready to rock? Fun that don't ever stop. Oh, we are on a crash course of freedom is running on as long as we want. going on everybody if you guys are doing well it is time for a little tuesday night trek and so you guys uh already so i put my camera on the other side we'll have to see if we like this or not uh, it's a little different <clears throat> i feel like it's, it's weird here but anyway let's throw some shout outs man where I, that's one of my favorite songs man i like that one uh let's tell you what let's pull something else in there Eh, I don't know if I'm looking for a rocking country. Let's let's try something else in there. Superior, what's up, man? Freightliner fan, hello, little machine. What's up, Jay's gaming? Well, how goes it, buddy? Hope you're doing well, man. Uh, Reese, what's up, man? Hollow Winter Wolf, Eddie Atkins, what's up, man? Hope you guys are doing wood. Uh, Hollow Winter Wolf, what's up, man? Uh, we got Cooper Gillis in the house. We got Carlos, what's up, man? Uh, Zell, what's up? Glad it worked for you guys, man. Freightliner fan, hello, Rebel Mac Daddy, JV Tram. Uh, good to see you, man. El Trilitero Billy. What's up, man? Como estas? Muchacho, I hope you're doing well, my friend. Mi amigo. Uh, <laughs> you only got a couple hours of sleep. <laughs> That's funny. It's amazing when you get the sounds in your favorite trucks. You're like, yes. This is what I was always wanting. What the heck did I pick? What? What? Oh, my gosh. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, there we go. Oh, my Lord. What the heck was that? Oh, all right, Wonder, what's up, man? Thunder 5150, good to see you, man. Brian King as well. Thomas Morales, good, uh, good to see you guys. Early in, uh, some Mississippi trains. I want to answer that question here in just a minute if I hadn't already answered it. But uh, Dan Zeman, what is up, my friend? Good name. Dan Zeman. I like it. Tiny Killer, what's up, man? Daniel Madison, hello, BDF. Good to see you guys. Willie Aiden now. Blitzkrieg, what's happening, man? Uh, Zach Schlager, what's up, man? Finally made a stream. Well, welcome to the stream, man. Uh, you don't like this new camera view? Yeah, I know. No, no one will. <laughs> no one will like it. Well, the, the thing is, this is the camera view that's that's on the that's on the side. So, you know, the good shift cam, which is what most people want to see. <sighs> oh, you like the video this morning? Awesome, man. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you like it, man. You are more than welcome to Donnell Trailer Belly. Billy, not Billy. Oh my gosh, Alan Carl, what's up, man? 
Something's messed up at the live stream screen. Oh. Yeah, it is messed up. Uh, I don't even know what that would be under. Uh, hang on a minute. Hey, Kevin McCurry. Thank you there, man. Appreciate that. Let me see if I can... Uh, that's weird, man. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe this was it. Hang on a minute. Ah, there we go. I had a massive refresh. That was last night. <laughs> Thank you there, Kevin. Appreciate the membership, man, as well. There you go, buddy. Oh, thanks for catching that, man. Appreciate it, man. Uh, Villa Valentina, what's up, Trip? Jay, good to see you, Trip. Hope you're doing well, man. Uh, Jay Allen, what is up, my friend? There we go, man. I think that should do it. Yeah, that, that should get it right there, so... There we go. Now it updated. All right, man. Good deal. All right, man. Y'all ready to rock and roll? Let's do uh, kind of go through everything we got in there. Let's roll this intro. I'll see you on the flip side, and then we'll go through all the stuff we got today. It's actually uh, <clears throat> there's actually quite a quite a bit. We got a jam packed stream tonight. Oh, goodness gracious. This is what record gets you, and now i got to activate everything. Hang on a minute. There's that. Let's get the alerts back up on screen. And is that right? Yeah, that one? Maybe. Maybe. Um, yeah. Let's try this one. Let's put the game up there. No, display capture. Fine. Let's do it like that. I was recording a video and I have to, man, I have to cut everything off. Let's check this one while we're, uh, <laughs> it's only for a second. It's probably not good to be drinking while major decisions need to be made, Trip. That's probably just a given. We probably need to make sure of, of that. There we go. Those are over the head. You guys can see three wide every now and again. Good to go. All right. Yeah, yeah, good. Good, good, good. All right. So we've got um, quite a bit uh, going on. Uh, so we've got a couple of things. If you are a fan of the 352, which I am, I think the 352 and the 362 are absolute. Uh, I'm 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 not necessarily a cab over guy, but I like the trucks, uh, and I like what you can do to them. I like the way they look. They're just something different, you know. Uh, we've been doing a lot of Peterbilts, and we've been doing a lot of Kenworths, um, and I actually got two of those. I got a 378.9 to show you guys. It's actually really good. Uh, and then I've also got a 900A and a 900 that um, is um, really good as well. So that's coming up in the future. Today, we're going to focus on the AB92 Detroit Diesel uh, series here from Zmods. Just released today. So it's like four euros, um, super cheap price. But along with the open def, now you can add these to all your trucks if you want to. Just I've got the video in the description. So if you want to check it out, uh, go do that. I've got links for everything today. We're going to be pulling some of Bart's trailers because we've uh, only did that once. So I'm going to kind of... Uh, pull his trailer back into it. Uh, we've got the 352 from Shadow Walker, which is a fantastic truck. You guys will get to see that if you didn't watch our build and drive on it last, uh, what, last couple days ago. Uh, and then we've also got the AB92 in there from Zmods, which is just released today. So we've kind of got a jam-packed stream, so we're going to kind of just do it. We're just going to kind of be driving for a little bit. So if you guys, uh, you know, y'all want to hang, please do. Uh, if you want to talk, whatever, this is going to be one of those streams where we literally could just drive for a bit, uh, pick up a couple different loads, show some trailer loads off, and show this truck off. Uh, right now, as you can see, we've got the extended uh, 8x4 or 8x6. Uh, it's what we've got on this bad boy. And uh, so, yeah, and we got the AB92. So, yeah, it'd be nice, man. I know, I forgot. A God, Marcus, I wasn't going to say nothing. I did forget a bumper light. I don't know how I did. I really don't know how I did, man. <laughs> I really don't know how I forgot that. Uh, I was actually changing the wheels out, putting some bigger wheels on this thing and, uh, you know, to recover in a flatbed, a step deck. And, uh, I don't know, man, I just clicked on the note actually to delete it, man. It's, it's terrible, man. It's terrible. Ugh. Just pretend that it's not there. If I'd have left the other, is there, there is a shop over there. We'll just have to go over the shop and fix that. That's just all there is to it. <laughs> oh, nothing gets by you guys, does it? Uh, Andrew Brown, what's up, man? James Taylor, hello. Gabby, what's up, man? Um, by the way, uh, if you guys, um, let's see, actually, let me, uh, let me go ahead and clean, I'll clean some of that off. Um, 
If you guys want to know, uh, if you don't know, I just uploaded a video this morning that tells you how to basically make Zmod's uh, engines compatible with anything in a simple tutorial process on how to do it. It's a short video. Go check it out because um, you may, if you've bought one and you're like, man, I really wanted that truck on XYZ. Um, I've got this truck from whatever, whatever. I've got this from here, and it's maybe some, you know, not necessarily absolute trucks, but it's maybe one that's uh, just not as popular. Maybe it doesn't, didn't get support directly from Z Mods. Um, then you can do it yourself, which is what I've done here. So we just added the AV92 sound set uh, here with the, the 352, 362 uh, as well. I have support for this, so it's pretty awesome. So, uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and start her up. And see what she got. Uh, Obviously, she's going to sound good. The AV92 Detroit is way, way, way different. Um, I'm not going to get into the specifics, but I had to do a little bit of research on it just because it sounds different. Um, so if you're expecting, and that's the good thing about doing these videos, if you're expecting this kind of like, you know, rough and tumble C16, you know, 10 inch straight pipes with the Jake brake just flapping down the 40, it's not going to happen. Uh, this truck was never designed on that. The engine was never designed with that. Detroit diesels are, are typically a much more tamer sounding engine, you know, anyway. There are some that have this more, uh, you know, I don't want to call it ferocious, but it's got more of a, a bassy, more of a just, uh, but typically that's not the style of these engines, the way they sound. If you go and listen to them online, they sound almost identical to this. Um, it's kind of crazy. I mean, it really... ATS does a lot when it takes it off, and I'm sure what you guys are going to hear on YouTube is not as good as what even I'm hearing in my ears. Uh, but you get a representation of it, and uh, it's just different. But I like it, especially for the older school engines. Like it's it's perfect. It's perfect. It sounds good underneath the uh, under the awning, but that's about it. So it sounds good in here. Well, I like this one. So. <laughs> So, um, so about that, um, I don't know. I wouldn't necessarily call it a fleet. It's just an older style. Like, like uh, Austin's is 14 liter two stroke V8, which is a little bit odd compared to what the other things that we're usually normally used to hearing. Um, and the AP92 is typically, and I, and Austin, you sound like you know, uh, anybody wants to pitch in with this, but I think it's an older set engine. So it's not anything you're gonna find up to recent. So it's generally gonna have this uh, much more older school I don't want to say an older school sound, but I don't really know what else to, to describe it. You'll see once we take off. It sounds good in here. It's a little more, um, it's a little more tame once you get outside. By the way, so those that have bought the three, um, by the, the, those that have bought the three XX interior pack, so this is coming to an update near you guys. It's going to have um, support for this truck. So listen up. So this is in a beta phase right now. It's not quite updated. Listen to these wipers. Air wipers. It's crazy. Air brake sounds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. Like, woo. Go put that bumper light on right quick. <laughs> Turn around and yeah, you missed the Jakes. I know, I know. And that's be the thing. So Jake brake on these particular engines was not. It was not your everyday thing. It was not like it is today. So the, there were very few. The way Z Mods explained it to me, he said there were very few trucks that actually had a Jake Brake with AB92 in it. So, um, so that's why he didn't do it. Uh, I don't know if the truck he he, he actually recorded the W900A um, was what the inspiration on this engine was. So I'm not exactly sure, you know, 
what it, you know, I, I, I just don't know. I just don't know. I don't know that much about truck history to know why there wasn't one included. All I know is that it ain't in there. <laughs> so if you're looking for it, you're like, yeah, man, I was looking for that Jake break to couldn't find it. Well, it's 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 not there, and you're not nothing's wrong. So don't don't worry. <laughs> it really doesn't exist. All right, let's see. Where did my where did my little where did my lights go? All right, so hang on a minute. I've lost them. There it is. Round LED orange. And then round LED. Do it. Now I feel like today's. But yeah, that's that's what I thought, sniper. And it was actually something that wasn't necessarily. It wasn't. It wasn't one of those things that was a given on any truck that you had with these. So. Turn around when possible. Uh, so I'm in 18 speed. Yeah. So. Oops. Wrong two buttons. Uh, so just stuff. Uh, I've got a tutorial video. If you go back to my main page, look down at the bottom towards the the uh, modding 101. Um, and inside of that, I've got a tutorial video on how to hide the steering wheel. It's really simple edit on the configuration file and it hides all of the steering wheels for that whole entire, you know, profile. So some people get a little salty when I hide my steering wheels because I think some people like for me to go back in single player, like single monitor mode. But now that I've got a computer, I can, I can pull this out, you know, I'm like, yeah, it's kind of hard to go back the other way, you know. Whoa, Rasmus Schmidt. That is a that's a mouthful. What's up, man? Thanks for sub. Appreciate it, man. Uh, Black Ace. I'm not sure what you mean. How I'm doing the triple monitors? Yeah, <laughs> my. I know, man. I wasn't gonna be able to do it the rest of the time. <laughs> I wasn't gonna be able to do it. Uh, I'm just using the. Uh, I'm using the triple monitors through um, uh, Nvidia Surround. You're asking. That's the only way to do it through ATS and ETS. Oh, they decided to block them. They took out of there like they were on a drag race. Oh my God! Come on, SCS. I thought he was going for me too. We all just died. Uh, I downloaded it. I think it actually came in late last night. Yeah, he fixed some engine sounds and some other stuff he didn't do. <laughs> Dropped the ball on it. Yeah, I got those, man. <laughs> well, there you go. Austin's got the answer, man. It's good to have some of you guys in there, man. And thank you for being cordial on your answers. I don't claim to be a, uh, I don't claim to be a know-it-all. So it's good to have guys that do actually know what they're talking, because I learned something today, you know? Good turbo sound. This thing actually sounds pretty good with the windows up. This is the one I think I actually enjoy the windows being up more. So if you do have the 362 or 352, the 3XX interior pack will be updated here pretty soon, and it will offer interior sounds for all of this good stuff you're hearing. So if you're like, well, mine doesn't sound like that on the inside, it will, it will, if you have that pack. So, uh, Trev, I, I can't, I can't answer that, man. You're getting too deep, man. It's only, uh, it's only 9:50 on a Tuesday night, man. <laughs> I do, man, I want to I want to flip that engine brake so bad, man. I can't stand it, man. Turn right. Yeah, so there will be no Jamaicans shifting tonight. Listen to that old turn signal. Clunk, 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 clunk. Uh, by the way, we're taking a load of lumber, and I think we are in Idaho. Is that where we're at? Oh no! So we're going through. Uh, if it doesn't crash, I have no idea. This is one of those, like, I should have checked this before, but we're going to Missoula, Montana, in the Montana expansion. Pretty much all of our maps are broken right now because SES decided they were going to update the last bit of uh, uh, the roads going into Colorado and some of the other ones to prepare for the Wyoming release. And so that messed all our map monitors up. So all our map monitors are 
probably not going to update until Wyoming, so if you're having map issues, that's why. Just be patient. Hopefully, SES, uh, SES will come up here in the next uh, couple of weeks. We can get a release on Wyoming, and then everything will work again. So, yeah, probably not, Master. I'll pull a Jake break. There's nothing happens. It's just air. What's up? Is that Javi Vibes? What's up, man? Uh, do I ever miss the wooden wheel? No, not really. Oh, Lord. I'm <laughs> glad I looked up. <laughs> oh, man, we're in the climb. All right, let's go. thing about this engine is not very strong, so... Actually, a pretty heavy load of lumber back there. the heavy trailer. We've been in trouble. Oh, yeah, no, the keyboard's changing lights. Yeah, that's all you need. power I'm not sure I don't think so uh, this was the way that that this this engine came you will not find a lot of strong trucks like this um, it was not uh, I mean I've never seen them even in some of the other guys that have created trucks for these um, I've never seen uh, you know trucks and stuff that are done because most of Z mods all of his stuff is locked up so I don't know that you can change it in the uh, in the SII file. He does have open def. I don't know that you can change the horsepower on it. My guess is probably not. Um, just so that if you change the power and change things about the engine, it may change the sound. Not exactly sure on that, but that would be my that'd be my one fill guess. So uh, what's the question there, John? I see your question of asking about the. Uh, uh, the setup for the X button on CV. Uh, Joy to key is how you set up the X button. If that's what you're asking. Hey, Greg, what's up, man? Logan, what's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. <laughs> Justin, man, uh, yeah, dude, <laughs> I don't think I'd mess with that. Yeah, the thing is, uh, unfortunately, I don't know even if they mess with that, I can imagine what our frame rates would do at that point. I mean, I think our frame rates would completely go in the, in the trash can. I mean, imagine if the trees moved. <laughs> you know, like, simple stuff, man. Simple stuff. <laughs> I mean, would it add something? Yeah, but, uh, man, at what cost? <laughs> Probably a lot of it. Oh, Coach Bus, well, these are definitely older engines, so you're definitely going to see these in a, in a much older sense, so yeah. I, do I still fly like on Fly Sim? Yeah, I mean, some. I haven't done it in a while. Uh, I think the horsepower in this one is uh, like 485. It's pretty slow. It does have a good power range, though. I mean, the RPMs on this thing rev pretty high, so I mean, it can still pull. It just once you get it pulled up the hill, it, it takes a little bit to keep it going. So, what's up, Grizz? How are you, man? 
You like it? Like a reaper? I didn't know if y'all like it or not, man. I know some people be on the fence. Some people be like, meh, it's not my cup of tea. And honestly, I can't say it's really my cup of tea. I'm still a big fan of that C16. That's still my best of my bread and butter, man. I love that engine. I think it sounds great. Thank you, there, Reaper. Appreciate it, man. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I've even shown you all these. Which camera is better? So I just got these bad boys uh, in a little bit ago. So we got the uh, sponsorships and FTG. It's a nice tumbler. It's not a Yeti, but it is a very nice tumbler. So I had to get all that stuff to check it out and see what the quality was like before I actually put it on the store and told you guys, hey, go pick one of these up. It's actually good. My week is going far. It's uh, going pretty well. It's a... Uh, Yes, yeah, that little... Uh, I know that's how these things really sound. I just don't know that I like it. I like the air, the turbo sounds, and I like it when the wind's nice. It's a nice feel, so... It's funny, man. People gotta like... They gotta love the Detroit Diesel. They, it's not like one of those, like... It's not one of those, like, yeah, I like it or I don't. Like, I mean, I like it, but I, I would like this better. It's like, you either like it or you don't. There's no if ands or buts. There's no in betweens on that, man. <laughs> What's up, being Howard, man? Uh, stain yeah, it's stainless. Yeah, yeah, it's stainless. <laughs> there is no in betweens. Yeah. Yeah, that's it, man. Being scrap game, you think it, man. Appreciate it, man. Um, oh, man, been in quarantine with COVID. Well, I hope you're doing well, man. And nowadays, people are having, uh, having an issue with that, man. Like the Detroit, man. Uh, Y'all were surprising me, man. I actually was worried about it, man. I thought, man, these guys, they're not going to like this, man. I should have known better. It's always the things that I like, you know. Y'all are always like, yeah, go back and do it the other way. <laughs> I mean, yeah, see, we get it going down the hill now. We can make her make her sink going down the hill. Uh, I don't mod Garuda's trucks, so um, I can't. I, I don't. I don't know anything to mod with those. Uh, I don't know how to do anything besides your basic, uh, you know, your basic open def skinning. You know, I, I do a lot of our skins. This one, by the way, if you guys are in the uh, in the company, you guys want a 352 skin, make sure you go up to the FPG paint jobs. That was done by our very own Wonder. He was in chat earlier as well, so he uh, whipped us up a really, really, really nice nice skin for this one. And we've also got one I'm gonna be uploading here pretty soon for the uh, for the uh, 62 for Rudis. So that'll be nice. I'll modify. It. I don't modify it, Luis. Um, but hang on, sneeze, baby. Yeah, I don't really touch much stuff. Skinning uh, is about as far as I get with it. Um, I'll do skinning and then this open def stuff with sounds. That's about as far as I wanted to get in with it because I knew if I did any more, then I'd probably get myself in trouble and I'd be back here modding more than I would be actually doing videos. So, Heartless Chris, no Jake break on this one. Uh, the AP92s were very, uh, the uh, Jake break was not something that hardly any of these trucks had, mainly just because of the design of the engine. If it's a Detroit diesel, we probably wouldn't like it anyway. <laughs> That's the real deal. You grow into it. Yeah, see, there you go. There you go, man. Oh, yeah. Thanks, friend. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Simon. Simon Ule. Or Ule. Uh, description. I've got all of them in description. So today is a payware stream, unfortunately, except for the skin. It is free. But uh, trucks pay, the sounds are pay, and the trailers pay. Yeah, no. It's the way it is sometimes. So. <laughs> oh, it's gearing up. Oh, you know what, Dominic? I think I'm at a 370 something. Uh, thank you there for that five dollar super chat, man. I think I'm on like a. I think I want to say I'm like a 373 or 383. Which I tried to get on the top end, but where we'd actually be able to get some speed down the. Uh, looks like we're riding into a storm, don't it? 
sure enough does. I don't know that I've actually seen this storm. I mean, the clouds look quite that uh, that dreary on the horizon. That's pretty impressive. Jaleb Gaming, what's up, man? White Rebel, we doing a giveaway tonight or no? Yeah, I don't know. We might. I don't know. If we did, would you stay? The question being, if we didn't, would you leave? It's probably the big one. Connor, what's up, man? No, nah, it's no GBX. This is uh, SES. Unless this is something custom that's been put into uh, Montana. We are driving in uh, the Montana expansion, which is something I did a while back, and we haven't done this in, like, forever. It's a good map. Um, I was trying to get everything, like, Great America, this. I was trying to get it all to work, and I finally just kind of gave up on it. Um, that was right after this. Looks like we got, like, these crazy... Uh, let's see what's going on with our, our rendering Keep shaders because they look, they look a bit funky. Unless that's the sunset colors and stuff. I guess it is. Wow. Uh, okay, good. Going the right way. Oh, there it goes. And then just like that, SES says, hey, we're in the dark. Oh, oh, we should have prepped for this. Oh, we should have prepped. Should have prepped. Should have prepped. Good gravy. Ha! Well, that was interesting. What's up, man? That 86? How are you, man? Good to see you, man. Nope, no new skyboxes? Okay, well, that was... If, if it wasn't that, I don't have any graphics mods in this one. So that was all SES. That was all SES on that one, I guess. What's up, Mike? How are you, buddy? Good to see you, man. Do I watch Jamaican truck drivers? No, no. I don't. I don't. No, I don't. I don't. Sledneck was a. I love this truck, man. I don't know. I, I like this truck a lot. <laughs> I think I'll enjoy, um, uh, uh, not, I almost say preach bombs. I'll enjoy Ruta's when he gets that triple axle done and gets the 8x, you know, 4 and 8x6 axles done. I think that'll be a very uh, top contender truck as well. It's good it's a different body style and not both identical. That's, that's always nice. Oh, you're flat, buddy. Oh, what's up, man? I'm so. <laughs> I'm, uh, I am surprised if you guys like this so much. I really am. Oh, my, you're not like this. I wish I had that kind of clout, man. <laughs> there is no Jake Brake, Jalen. No Jake Brake. Like, you're, you're here and all she's got, Captain. And there were multiple reasons, mainly because a lot of trucks didn't have them. There were one he recorded didn't have one. Um, and as Austin was telling us earlier, um, and it was uh, it was said it was uh, more or less for, for space, for room. So, uh, I don't know. Also, did these have any type of a retarder system? Uh, I mean, obviously, ATS models it. So, I can turn the retarders on, but that doesn't mean the real truck had them. I'm just curious, because I don't know. I don't know, Jobby. We'll uh, we'll run a few. We'll run a few. We're got a uh, one up here. We'll see where it's at. We'll make a daylight once we get up here. I just actually felt like I might log a few miles tonight, so we'll uh, we'll take her through her paces. And of course, we already did the build and drive on the 352, and so uh, oh, we might just lose it right here. I'm actually going to change the, the uh, change the transmission on this truck. Yeah, man. 
Hey, you pretty much you pretty much started when I did F-150. That's pretty much it, man. <laughs> no, Mike, I was actually putting myself down. Like I, I can't make you famous because I'm not famous yet. Huh. Hey, Mr. Dilly. All right, man. What's up? I appreciate you guys spend way too much money. <laughs> Oh well, I am sorry about that. I I just uh, I just enjoy being able to show you guys what exists out there because I'm gonna be quite honest with you, man. If uh, if it wasn't uh, if it wasn't for um, if it wasn't for payware trucks and stuff, I probably um, you know, I probably wouldn't be playing this game the way I am. Uh, that's just probably just the keep that's, right. It's just the, the that's just the the real part right of it, you know. Ahead. We'll try to set up a little big in there. But pick Roos three nine. I I guess it depends on what you want, man. Exit right um, ahead. There was asking who uh you know whoever was asking hey what which one do I buy? I guess it depends on what you like. You like Peterbilt's? You like Kenworth's? Um, because all of those um have their their best kind of counterparts, you know. Keep left. So I guess it After depends on what you, uh, yards, what you like. Turn left. Turn left. And you can't go wrong with any of Ruda's. Um, you really can't. I mean, he's he's got some killer trucks. Yeah, Roos right. trucks are good, man. Um, this stuff is good, man. And, I, you know, I mean, Dom's 379. We've got a few of those now that are killer. Uh, Roland's 389 is killer. He's doing some big updates with that. I mean, really, man, it just comes down to what you, it just comes down to what you, which truck you really, really like. If you don't have any clue, After man, it's pretty much all I drive now are these, these paywares. So just stick in for some of these building drives. Check them out. And I uh, pretty much Turn show you left. everything I possibly can with the truck. So you're bound to see something that you either like or don't like. <laughs> What's up, Mac Nation? This, this UPS lot. This is legit here, man. <laughs> I know, Mike. <laughs> you have reached your destination. Love how we're taking lumber to the UPS. Ah, uh, gotta love the job cargo creation side of this. Sweet. All right, let's drop this one off. We'll pick up something else. I don't know what it is. <laughs> We're shipping wood to the customer. <laughs> yeah, Mike. Yeah, we're going to get a pallet. Let me get a trailer full. I think that'll be good. And thank you there, uh, Mr. D-Leap79, uh, man. I don't think I thanked you for that $20 super chat, man. I read it, but I did not thank you for it. So I appreciate that, man. Very much so. Yeah, if you, I've done that. I've done the. <laughs> I've done that a time or two. Uh, all right, let's see what else is uh, coming out of Missoula. Actually, let's change the time real quick. Let's do um, where are we at, where are we at, where are we at. Let's make sure that time changed over. <laughs> Legit, Jeremy. I guess, I guess if that's the uh, if that's what you call it, I've never heard it called that. Screaming Jimmy. <laughs> y'all got some weird names for this stuff, man. Start worry about y'all. 
All right, let's see what we got here on our uh, world map. We can stay up here, even uh, swing on over to Washington. We have not driven in Washington in a while. Um, so it'll probably don't. Oh, that's by the way, we need to go by the store. Don't let me forget that. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So in Missoula, ah, that's the Joselito special right there, Pro Mix. He loves those loads. Not really. Taco toy, a taco toy, real life weight, five pounds. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Doesn't look like we're going to. I wanted to pull some of the newer stuff out of this trailer. It don't look like we're going to get it. Let's see, where's Pro Mix going? That's where we came from, ain't it? Yeah. It's in Butte Super Sandbags. Ooh, the Oshkosh. Let's go over to Butte. That's a real butte right there. We could pick it up in butte. Oshkosh, uh, Hermit. All right, Hermit, Dirt, B. Nice. Right, uh, got the uh, Camo B. It's got Camo F. Nice, man. I don't I don't know that I knew that the Oshkosh was in there. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. Let's get down there and grab that, man. <laughs> you go to check a boat in for the Taka truck. I guess I could show people what it looks like. It literally looks like a Taka truck strapped down to a flatbed. I mean, that's literally what it looks like. Hey, good there, Jim Elt. And I guess it worked. That's what I was looking for. I hope it worked. Nah, man, the buzzing doesn't. Nope, Austin, nope. I have now, uh, but I typically stay within the, you know, I, I typically stay within that Cat and Cummins, you know. Nobody else really. We have never had any other engine sounds that sounded really, really good. They were always kind of like, eh, they were all right, but they weren't anything to, like, you know, write home about. Now, this is a little bit of a longer trip, so um, we may just pull this up halfway here, maybe to Coeur Lane or Spokane, and we may pick something else up, so, you know. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's pull the Oshkosh. That's a good one. I don't think I've ever done the Oshkosh on this trailer. Let's see. Let's go to Butte. Let's, we'll make it easy. We'll squeeze you over. Um, let's see. Let's get our bearings down. Let's see. Here we go. We are right over here. All right. Looks like we're right here. And we'll see. And we'll see if we can go ahead and find us a, uh, So we go and find us a store over here as well. Kind of looks like a real export over here. Oh, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> I recommend the Tonka Truck. Maybe pull the Tonka Truck at the end, man. How's my facial hair so nice? Why are you so nice, one? That's the nicest thing anybody said to me in a stream. You have reached your destination. <laughs> oh, I had some, like, uh, four-year-old kid today. I was coming out of the coffee shop, and he, like, taps me on the side of my on my leg. He's like, I like your beard. <laughs> I was like, bro. I was giving, gave him fist bumps. I was like, that's the nicest thing anybody said to me. <laughs> oh, that's nice, man. Thanks for the compliment. You know, y'all should have done that to make a day. Uh, on Friday, this is the this is Bart's update. So Bart did that step deck. I like you know he's done it for like forever a day ago. So this is his update for this. Uh, I don't think I can blind back this thing in. I can try, but I can't really I can't really see out of that here. Yeah, no, I can't see out of it. I hate doing this, but. Claps, what's up, Ben? Yeah, I know, Mike. I'll take it, man. I'll take it. It's points right there, man. Anthony Trucking, what's up, man? <laughs> no, Jim. Another engine, man. Z's cranking him out, dude. He must have gone on, like, a recording spree. And I just recorded, like, spent two or three weeks recording stuff, and he's just been editing and putting it all down. 
So the good thing with open devs is that you can basically create your own, you know what I mean? So that video this morning, for any of you guys that want to learn how to, you know, put Z's mods on uh, you know, basically anything that you're doing, um, it's, a good, it's a good way to, it's a good way I put a video out this morning, and it's in the description as well. Y'all can certainly check that out, and that way you can add. Look at that. Let me get you to better screenage here. Yeah, man. That's like the old school Oshkosh. Like that's the that's like the desert camo. I like that crank up and exhaust sound. That's pretty slick, man. Yeah, the <laughs> mods mixtape. <laughs> when it starts to get scruffy. <laughs> yeah, dude. I do. It's about time to trim that thing up. Like, yeah. Just jealous you can't grow one. This is good, man. This is good. This is a good load, man. Hey, Bart. He's a he's he's a good, 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 good dude, man. We got so many talented people, man, doing modding now for. And I think when you see stuff like this, man, it just kind of I don't know, man. It just puts it in a perspective. You got sounds like this that are legit. You've got trucks that are legit, skins that are legit. You've got trailers like this that's already legit as it is. And much less you put a load on it like that. It's good stuff, man. And especially some guys, man, to get upset about, you know, the payware stuff. And I shouldn't have to pay for this, shouldn't have to pay for that. But, um, you know, if you can find you, you know, some really good functional trucks that are versatile and then get you those one or two get you one reefer you know get you one flatbed get you one heavy haul type deal man these guys are doing such a good job with updates man it's almost creating a new trailer or truck every time they update it it's really 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 good <laughs> uh never seen the train like that no, they no. The train won't hit you. I don't. I don't know if you can tell After it to, but yards, I, I would. I would. I would doubt. You turn could. left. No air starter on this one. Yeah, no air starter. It's just regular old, uh, regular old starter. No, no, no air. Now this sounds. I will say this. Uh, let me run. I feel like this is loud. It's not. So the sounds inside of the truck uh, are from ZMOS 3XX that is going to be updated. So I was uh, I was showing you guys like uh, the wipers. It's got the actual air wiper sound. So I guess that might run off a vacuum system. I think it's legit. Trait. And then all the sounds. And this good, and then wiper. I mean the uh, windows. <laughs> and then you've got these air sounds. This is so, this is so good, man. So good. Yeah, no, the step deck, yeah, man, for, for what, so 18 bucks? Is that, you still got it for 18? Uh, dude, it's, uh, I mean, this is a big update for him. Um, and really, John Rudis Trucks, he puts big updates on these. Um, and so that's why I keep showing these trucks, man, because everybody keeps these trucks updated. Um, and, uh, and they keep uh, adding stuff to them, so you can't go wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, such <so> slow. <laughs> Yeah, electric wipers are, uh, electric motors are much more quick, but, uh, eh, I don't know if this guy's going to, yeah, he's going, I got it. Hop over here with my Oshkosh. Actually, we'll, we'll hop outside and look at this Oshkosh. All right. I would assume they'd have this thing turned around, though. That's what I'd assume. We'll, we'll hit the way station since we're, we're going to try to be somewhat halfway realistic about it today. <laughs> I'll be a bit more, yeah, yeah, I'll understand, Simon. Well, you know, the good thing is, is, uh, you know, in Brazil, you know, our money goes a lot further than it does in America. So if it was an American selling that trailer, it'd at least be 40 bucks. So you're getting a deal. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> 
No, they will hit you for cross. I guess they don't have time to. They don't have time to stop. We haven't hit anybody going backwards like this. There we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it, yeah, cyber. It's it's uh, and is it worth it? Yeah, it's worth it, man. I haven't done a build and drive on this one in a while, or a, I used to call them a bill and haul. Uh, for the trailers and stuff, we build up these every now and again. I need to do another one just for some of these updated ones. Pinga's got a crazy updated heavy haul trailer. Cozad is crazy. The magnitude is fantastic. This flatbed's good. Pinga's got a really good drop deck. Um, we did Pinga's, I will say it's probably been about two months, nah, it's not two months ago, probably a month ago. Uh, we did one for Pinga's NF, dude, it was, it was legit, man. He did a crazy killer update on that flatbed. No, I don't. The truck and tr the truck and load. No, I, I didn't. I didn't see what it was, Master. And I know our our load right now is forty one thousand, but you know, obviously that with our our weight trailer weight, probably in the eighties or nineties, I guess. I mean, that would be my guess. So what's up, Daystrom? How are you, man? Hey, Dana man. So yeah, is everything in the description, bud. So we got the three fifty two from Shadow Walker. We got that new AB ninety two. Uh, from Zmods just released today, and we got Bart's, uh, we got his step deck on uh, on the back here. So pulling an Oshkosh, Oshkosh, Gosh. it's the Oshkosh. Sorry, I had to make sure it wasn't a G in there. It's like I was thinking Oshkosh. That was like Oshkosh, but gosh, like the kids. Stupid, stupid. Maybe. I like the true stroke power. You know, <laughs> I can answer that one for you there. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> it is so, eh, I don't know. A-ball might, uh, might be off his rocker on that one. Yeah, this is one of those you definitely gotta, you know, you definitely gotta be in it to win it with a mod like this. There is no Jake break there, Mr. K Dub. There is no Jake break on this one, so he actually designed it to not have one because the, the truck he recorded didn't have one, and uh, that was actually kind of quite rare on these AB 92s to see Jake break on them, mainly for space. That was Austin was telling us that, but it, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't have one, but. I know it feels weird, man. I just want to reach over here and flip my switch about every downhill we go down, but I'm like, well, <laughs> well. <laughs> hey, what's up, Zach? Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing all right. I used to get killed by those invisible Rozelle when we went to uh, Mexico, man. When they first opened up that the full the full gambit of that one, yeah, I got smoked a couple times. Right in stream too. I think we were driving. Uh, at that time, we were driving Vipers 389 through there, man. I just got cold clock, man. I always stream. I kept running invisible walls everywhere, man. Oh yeah, currency. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta slow down like a peasant. Yeah, like that guy. He should have slowed down. Where did he come from? What the heck? Where did that come? I didn't hit anything, did I? I mean, obviously I did. Where'd it come from? 
Yeah. What's up, Mr. Virtual Howard, man? <laughs> yeah, it means you got to... Oh, here's our... Uh, all right, here's our here's our uh, um, our shop. Let's go ahead and pop in here real quick. Let's take a detour while we're in Montana. Uh, G underscore set underscore time space twenty four hour format. So if you want it at seven o'clock in the morning, straight. type G underscore set underscore time space zero seven. Go see what kind of rear ends we have on this thing. I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember the uh, the gearing this thing had. I don't want to say I pulled in one of the bigger ones, but <clears throat> oh, we merged in. Oh, okay, <laughs> you're gonna make it. <laughs> yeah. That'd be pretty weak. I don't know that anybody about that sound mod. Let's record my own. There we go. See how that works? All right. All right. Let's pull in here to the shop here and let's see what we got going on. Let's see what kind of transmissions we got on this bad boy. See if we can uh, get a little more realistically legit with it. Okay. All right, so oh, this is guys what I got. So 18 so oh, everything's in the 3s. All right, so 320s. I want it must have been what he was working with was the 3s. Um so the 480, so the AV92 TA Silver 92, um, and I'm pretty sure that was it. Obviously, I had this C16s on there, I'm making sure I don't have any of the other ones. I do not. Looks like that was it. Oh, a 435, and then a, a 480. Yeah. So transmissions are um, they're a little on the the lackey side, so that's why it feels like it can't get up the hill. Because it can't. <laughs> and I guess, uh, and that's the best one. So, yeah, all right. Okay, well, that makes that easy. Thanks there, American Destination Shop. Appreciate it. Didn't help me a bit. Get back on the road. That's all we got, man. It's all the horses we got there, Zell. That's all we got, brother. That sounds like a Chewbacca, yeah. <laughs> all right. Oops. Wrong gear. Oh, it looks like a Red Bull. One of those. Oh, you missed it. Looks like one of those air race planes. It is max horsepower. Yeah, so this engine only has a 480 max horsepower. It doesn't have a 800 and a 1,000. Um, but I think that's just the way the engine was made. It's probably what it recorded, so it's probably what he recreated uh, via what the normal production scale was for that, for that particular engine. What's up, Devin? How are you, buddy? All right, here he is. I 
guess one thing you know I probably could do is is probably turn up the uh, probably turn up the the wind and air sound that probably would make it feel a little bit more a uh, little bit more legit inside the cabin keep it a little bit warm. It sounds good for what it is. I I, I was curious, man. I've never heard. I, if I did, I didn't know what it was. Now I typically think a lot of the trucks just sound the same. I mean, I don't. I don't. You know, we don't have a lot of custom trucks in my area. We have a lot of logging trucks um, where I'm at. So I mean, pretty much everything's beat down. You know, some of them had the mufflers are half rusted off of it. So I mean, there's a <laughs> there's just a difference uh, that you don't necessarily get with uh, you know some people depend on where they live uh, or truck companies that are around them. You know, stuff like that. I mean, obviously we sell the fleet stuff, but I don't see a lot of custom trucks around here, and I don't see a lot of trucks that are like superbly like insanely great. There is a place though up the road though where guys actually do store, and I never see these trucks out on the road. I always just see them stored up in his in his yard. He's got like a um, not a yard, but it's uh, like a actual like an actual truck yard. Uh, but it's got one of those keypad things. This is nothing more than storage for guys to keep their front ends of their, uh, their vehicles there. And uh, I have so bad wanted to go in there and be like, hey, I'm going to put this up here and ask these guys. Like, I'll, I'll give them, you know, X amount of dollars. Let me do a ride around with them, hauling some of their stuff. Because they actually have some custom trucks. But I've never been able to muster up enough guts to go do it. Because I'm like, you know, sometimes you go with the truck, the truck driver. You go out of town with them. Sometimes, you know, you don't come back. Kidding, of course. Kidding, of course. We got truck drivers in here. Well, why don't you pick a motor without a jet? Well, I don't know because AB92 is popular for a lot of people. A lot of people like the Detroit diesel stuff. A lot of people like this AB92. It's one of the engines that we have none of in ATS, and so the Jake, I mean, the Jake brake just is not. Uh, it's not up. It didn't come on this engine a lot. I mean, it was very rare to see this engine with a jet brake on it from factory, and that was for a multitude of different reasons. But yeah, it just it just wasn't that. You know, it just didn't have all that much. So I don't know. Yeah, it's like I said, man. You either like this or you don't. There is no in between. Like, man, it's kind of okay. Like. You're either going to be like, yes, I would gladly drop $5 for that. Or you'll be like, nah, I'll save $5 for a Big Mac. You know, a Big Mac would be great tomorrow. It won't be as good as this AP92 is. <laughs> so you either love it or you'll hate it. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah, the beast, yeah. The rural Saskatchewan. Yeah, man. Up there in the sticks. Uh, what's it sound like with the windows down? It's louder. down pass all right I day hope there we go Capitan John Bullen Highway the 323 is all this thing had that was the only gear ratio they had a 355 but it was a nine speed and then the hill traversal was garbage so the 13 the 18 all the all of them were 323s so all right so still got my real stats Woo! Those guys will know. By the way, uh, we've been rolling here a few things. And I just want to, I want to throw. Um, man, look at it. I got it. it just got gearing. You got to set those gears up early, man. That's that's all there is to it. Uh, so we got a couple things here. I wanted to throw to your guys' attention. One of those is our new Instagram. Uh, so that is me, uh, the FTG official. It's not channel official. So you'll find uh, really just set up stuff on there. You'll find a lot of. Um, uh, 
try to do uh, get into doing the more reels associated with racing aspect with my setup with my PC build um, and kind of keep some of that stuff going if you guys can ask questions feel free to um, I will try to do my best to answer all the questions that come through there but uh, follow me on Instagram and we also got a VTC up there so if you want to drive for a company uh, if you want to want to find somewhere that's uh that's you know pretty decent place we're not one that cares about the the miles um if we did the miles i mean it's fine you know but we're not going to compete with some of these guys that have 50 players and they're all driving you know half a million miles a piece i, I just I, I want guys to enjoy the game um have fun doing it join the discord that's another big one you can exclamation discord in the in the um, in the chat there and it'll throw the discord link clubs for you um and let me know make sure all that stuff's working but Regardless, uh, come to join the Discord, and we can get you a link if, if one of those doesn't work. Sometimes the things I delete them to try to clean them up, and then I forget that all those Discord links are in my stuff in here. So, yeah, one of these days I'll figure it out, guys. It's only taking me three or four years to get here, so. <laughs> Close the window, I know, man. I had to. Yeah, and I was looking at my volume too. I was like, ooh, this thing's getting loud. What's happening to Boo? Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well, my friend. There you go. Now, see if that one works. I hope it does. But we're going to have convoys uh, still going on. Uh, so we'll have ETS on Fridays typically, uh, Saturdays, and uh, we may be sprinkling in some other things here or there. Uh, but uh, but at least that'll get you in here. We got man, we got a lot of guys in here, man, that enjoy driving around and doing smaller convoys, just on the MP side, like on the um, uh, the regular SES convoys. So if you guys are interested in doing that kind of stuff, looking for a good group that's active, um, yeah, join up. Yeah, no problems, man, no problems. Yeah, we're just uh, cruising with the new AV92 from uh, Z Mods. It's a nice, uh, I guess it's like I said, I've been saying this all night, it's, it's either you like it or you don't. There's no in between. It's just one of those types of style engines. So. <laughs> did, did you? Yeah, we can go outside here. Let's uh, let's look, speaking of L, let's uh, look a little more. Uh... pounds on this. Seems a little light for this thing. I, I would assume this thing would be a lot heavier than that, but maybe not. It's going all the way to Tacoma. I don't know if we can go the whole trip. It says we got 18 minutes left, so we'll be there at 11 o'clock. Which is pretty cool if you see that down at the bottom right. This is the uh, trucky app overlay here that we're using. Uh, it's okay, 18 minutes. Uh, 11 o'clock, so 18 minutes. So, yeah. I don't know. We might we might finish it out. See how we feel. Uh, how do we drive? Well, basically, Sean, you fill that application out, download Trucks Books, and then install it, and then you'll essentially have to like find your ATS game, your ETS game. There's tons of like, you know, there's tons of things that that, uh, that help you, you know, install it. And essentially when you install the client, what it'll do is it'll log all of your miles. And so if you don't go over 80 miles an hour, any log that you, I mean, uh, any uh, trip that you do will be logged for the company once you stop and hit continue and park it. Um, so we just have a community of miles. Uh, you know, you don't get anything. We recognize our, our top drivers of the month in Discord. That's one thing I do do. So at the start of each new month, uh, pretty scenery alert. We're... Uh, uh, should be in, are we in Washington yet? I think we're in Washington. Spokane, we just went by Spokane, so. I don't even remember this, this is how long it's been since I've been in, uh, been in Washington. It's nice over there, I totally was. Yeah. Anywhere in the state of Texas? Yeah, no, probably nothing until 2022. We've been waiting 10 months now on, um, 
yeah, 10 months, which is crazy to think about. Uh, 10 months on uh, uh, Wyoming. So I cannot imagine that uh, Texas is going to come any sooner. Um, they said something about this map uh, DLC in like December the 9th. So, yeah, it's going to be a while, I think. Um, they do have a team that they've split off and done the reskinning of California, so now they've split forces so they can create new maps, uh, plus reskin California and redo it. So be looking for California reskins to come up every update. Look for Arizona to get some updates. Nevada will get some updates. Um, at, but that'll be all in, all in time. So <sighs> how long do I think it'll make that? I don't know how long it'll take them. If, if Wyoming is any inkling, I, I, it's going to take them a while. So. Um, anywhere for Texas Chrome Shop, no fly boy. Uh, they, they canned me, I guess. Um, they canned me. Um, they took me off their Google Drive as a content creator streamer, even though I paid for the truck. So, yeah. That's why you don't see it anymore. Um, I really had big high hopes and aspirations for that. I really thought they were going to do good. Um, I thought they had a good, uh, a good, you know, a good start. Um, and even what I've seen of the mod, it looks like they're doing a fairly decent job with it. Um, I just, um, yeah, I don't know. There was some other stuff that was happening with another YouTuber and uh, we're another Twitch streamer and another YouTuber. And I kind of said, well, let me back off here because, you know, it's for reputation. Um, and I, I don't, I really don't want to, you know, uh, push anything on stream. Or I don't want to showcase anything on stream if it's not, uh, something that I can fully get behind hundred percent. Um, because that completely negates the fact of me doing these mods and stuff. Um, and I've always uh, taken that to be, uh, to, somewhat, to, to some extent, I've always taken that as kind of a prideful thing for this channel. Is um, I mean, it's, it's hard to do just content for ATS. You, you've got two different things you can do. You can drive off the side of mountains like a flipping idiot. That's one thing you can do, uh, which is dumb. And the other thing you can do is show out mods and show out all the stuff that's there. I mean, yeah, we can drive in a 680, you know, we drive in a 680 Kenworth default, pull a, a blank white trailer. But I don't know that that's exactly what people want to see, you know, because, I mean, after about a week of that, I mean, what more do you do with it? You know, well, all right, guys, well, we're back in our automatic and we're uh, hauling the load from here to there. People can be like, I mean, heck, they may even do that now. And I'm actually showing them pretty legit mods. So it's just something that I, you know, I wanted to do. So, you know, we had some correspondence and then they just basically just, just stopped corresponding and took my name off the Google Drive and uh, it basically took me out of all of their record and stuff. So I don't have access to the truck and okay, like I'll just tell my guys what happened and then, you know, it'll be the, it'll be up to them as to whether or not they support further. The thing that really set me off was they started charging for updates and they said they weren't. So. I don't know, Kurt. Uh, September 2nd. I can about tell you. Let me look at the date on that. Let's see. September 2nd. Whoops. Texting while driving. Not advisable. September 2nd is possible because it's a Thursday. But um, unless that email comes tomorrow or Thursday, um, I usually by now, if they're going to release it next week, SES would have already told me that they're going to do it. Um, and they usually send out an email to all of their content providers and telling them, hey, uh, we're going to get the key to you this weekend. You can start you know, embargo lifts on Sunday. You can start throwing up your stuff. Uh, and then the, 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 basically the, the DLC will release on Thursday. I have, not gotten a, um, I have not gotten an update yet as to whether or not that's going to happen. So, so hey, thanks there, Rasmus. Well, good, man. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. It's um, it's it's good. It's uh, it's about the best way I've found to display the the three model. You know, the three window. Over the shoulder wasn't that bad, but it's still like, in in most guys' scenario, it's it's still not the best. This, I do actually like this. I actually went back and watched one of my streams the other day, and uh, I think it was our ETS2 stream, and I was like, man, I like that. It's like that looks good. I've, I've always struggled at trying to find a good way to display. And it's a good one for even scenery. You know, a lot of times when you watch a three view, you know, the, the cams are so exploded and overexposed that 
everything else that you can barely see what's going on. This one does a really good job, man. You can still see the steering wheel and the details, but you also can actually get a decent feel of the scenery around it, you know. It's not bad. Oh, Mark. Yeah, Math Marvin. Yeah, I'm, I, I, me neither. <laughs> me neither when I played it. I was like, oh, it's pretty good. <laughs> I got hooked on it enough to start doing create content for it that uh, YouTube went ahead and shoved that hook in and, and uh, hook, line, and sinker. Then things started exploding for uh, for ATS. I, I really do wish the ATS is... Uh, I, I really wish our, our main ensemble of people would grow. I feel like ATS is still a very small community when it comes to actual playable people. Um, I would love to see it get a lot bigger. <laughs> it would take 10 years. Yeah, Jim, we've always joked about that. It actually is like 28 to get there. So, yeah. Yeah, no problem, Kurt. No problem, man. That's just what I think. And I'm going to tell you what, guys. If, and I'm just going to go in and say it, man. If you guys are watching AP 101, I'm just telling you, man. Nothing that guy says. Nothing. None of that. Is SES and none of it's leaked? None of it. I'm just going to tell you. If that's the guy you saw that on the video, he's complete speculation for clickbait views, man. That's all it is. Um, that's just all it is. I mean, it's frustrating to guys like me that put out as much wholesome content that we can that we do know about. Because I don't like speculating. Uh, but uh, Dad Gummit, man, and just when people lie about stuff, because he would have to sign NDAs, non disclosure agreements. He, he couldn't keep a job with us if he's out there leaking all the info on a freaking YouTube video. So. They wouldn't, I would, they wouldn't keep him hired. You know, point. <clears throat> yeah, well, I was on purpose, mister. I, and, and if the cab wasn't moving then this bezel almost goes with the window bezel <laughs> it's almost it's really close yeah <laughs> it took a while to try to find that some some trucks work better than others they just do some trucks are terrible you just kind of have to deal with it <laughs> what's up tiger how are you man Yeah, yeah, math bar. Yeah, man. Well, hey, you got to start somewhere, man. I am not pulling in. This will be the third way station I pulled into. I guess we have gone through three states, so to be fair. Yeah, and, and the rumors, the rumors aren't even rumors. That's the thing. I mean, you could make an educated guess. Like, I've made educated guesses based on the history of me getting early keys for SES. And they typically don't wait to the last minute to give you a key because they want you to produce good content for it when it drops. So, I mean, they're not stupid. I mean, I might have my quarrels with them, but they're not dumb, you know? So, um, the, the thing that, that, you know, he did a video, and, and this kind of stuff is, just, I, I just think it's not good for the community. I mean, I'll say it, I would say it to his face if he jumped up in the stream. Um, the thing that, that bugs me about some of this is uh, there was a video done uh, just a couple of uh, uh, weeks ago where Kenworth, I mean, uh, they liked Kenworth's uh, new design for the 680. They put a bunch of those hard emotes. And so it was a build as the new truck coming to SCS, I mean, coming to ATS. That, of course it's not. They might do it, but that was not an admission that they're doing their truck. I just, I just, I have a problem with that. I feel like it just, it does a complete disservice to the community. Because then I get a bunch of guys coming here and ask me in the Discord, send me DMs asking me if I'm going to do a video on the new truck. What do you mean the new truck? Oh, the new truck I saw on this. Then they send me the link, and I'm just like, oh, my gosh. So, you know, some people may not think it's a big deal, but maybe I'm one of the old school ones that, that do think it's a you know, big deal. I guess I guess we're lied, we're lied to so much in uh, our, our media news today that, you know, I'm like, at least, at least somebody, even in the video game, let's be honest. <laughs> We can't be honest in a video game. What the heck are we doing here, boys? 
By God, you might as well pop two your tires and go running down the cliff. I don't know. It's uh, woo. Yeah, we are jakeless tonight. No uh, jakes in this engine. There wasn't when they recorded it, and uh, and uh, I guess for like the fiftieth gazillion time, which is not your fault. Uh, this uh, this this engine typically does not come with one. So we are gearing it down for descents and uh, just enjoying the light two-stroke rumble of the EV92. So cheer up, Buttercup. Tomorrow will be a new day, and we'll roll a C16, and we'll uh, we'll rattle your windows in the next couple of streams. How about that? How about that? We'll do it. It's fun. <laughs> Oh, I know. Oh, I know. It's just, I know. I know so. But, you know, the thing about it is typically he's not the first to do it. I mean, we've had plenty of people do it, and eventually Keep that right. gets old After because yards, they never right. get lucky more than once. Oh, come on, car. Now oh, they're getting over. There we go. Turn right. And typically what happens is after about the fourth or fifth clickbaited video that people stop going to it because they know at that point, oh, now well, he's not been right about anything yet. The thing about it is, SES is not going to leak anything to anybody because they're just going to get on their own social media and talk about it because they have got their social media cornered up like a, it's ridiculous. But, what's up, Chronic? Yeah, AB92, man. They didn't have it. JP, what's up? We're in Washington, I believe. I believe we're in Washington. We haven't been washed in in a while. We haven't even convoyed up here in a while. Let me ask you guys in chat, and this is for everybody there. I want you guys to put a number in. I, I'm trying to gauge, we'll kind of do some quick spot in polls. And I meant to do this earlier and I totally forgot. Um, would you guys rather see, uh, I'm debating on how I do my convoys um, and how we create some content throughout the week. Um, would you guys rather see TMP stuff? Because that's been weird. TMP's actually done well, like the videos, like you guys would come back and watch them, um, even the replays and stuff, which has been good. ETS has been completely like in the crapper. Now, I know probably a lot of you guys who are watching tonight don't like ETS, but we typically um, typically have um, had good results with, with ETS convoys. Um, and I'm thinking ETS going, obviously we don't have mod support. But um, is the regular convoy mode something that you guys here in chat tonight, would you watch that over watching a stream with TMP? And you can put your answer in chat. I'll just kind of skim through and read kind of what you guys say. Uh, feel free to be honest. It's a good chance to be honest. Just be respectful about it. Right. Like, yeah, I don't like TMP, but I would watch convoy. Or it don't matter to me. I'll be here regardless. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Don't say yes, Frogman, because I don't know what you're saying yes to. Should have prepped for that a little more. There's no way that truck would have got stopped that quick. <laughs> no way. Okay, can't say convoy. You have to say SES convoy or TMP convoy. Yeah, I would say absolutely whatever it is. JP, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stop, I can have F17. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, Jaden Lap here, or Lapper. Uh, look at the description of my last video link that's in there. Um, I just did a tutorial video on walking you, adding any truck that you want to to see my attention sounds but. And it's an easy tutorial, and if you bought Z-Mod Sounds, and you can make his engine ring on just about Keep any right. truck that's out there. After 50 yards, exit right ahead. It's a glorious beard. You and Juan, Jeremy. You and Juan. <laughs> it's exit growing too, right man. Ahead. My Wild Willie's beard grows. Air serum is really working wonders. After 100 that's, yards, that's turn right. That's a real right. thing. I'm not, I'm not lying. Wild Willie's hair beard grows. 
approach zero. Turn right. I'll put that navigator in the back of that reefer. <laughs> I will be really awesome and share with you guys a uh, ism of mine today I came up with. So if someone was asking me who I'd go in, if I'd go in with somebody on something, you know, like go in halfers on something. And I straight up, without a beat, looked at him and said, I wouldn't go halfers with a hermit crab from the beach with that guy. Yeah, use it. Especially you guys have been to the beach and bought a hermit crab and it's died by the time you got home. You know what I'm talking about. Snake hole nose. <laughs> Snake hole. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the thing, Jody. Well, the good thing is, is, here's the thing. Like, we can use the mod sounds. The cool thing about it, we can use mod sounds. Um, we can use it with... Now, let's see, wait a minute. I got to go right here, right? Ain't this where I got to go? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you could go the other way, too. Oh, well, that's no fair makes me feel like it wasn't as important to go down the exit ramp. Oh, that's going to make it hard. Not too hard. You have reached your destination. <laughs> yeah, 86. Yeah, we couldn't do it because of lack of mods. It's so terrible, isn't it? <laughs> it's so bad. Well, I probably still couldn't do a week. I couldn't do a cab over a week. Because we only got like three. It's that trailer over there. Goodness gracious. All right, we're gonna see if we can uh, see if we can actually uh, make sure my tag axle's up. Yeah, so. mm, I don't think. And we might, we might get enough to go. Ah, oh, the chickens! The chickens are good. They're still alive. They're still having eggs. So you know, all is well in the chicken world, I guess. My daughters love them. So. They've become pets more than they've become food sources. I don't know if I got this thing over far enough. Be a cab or else. Let's get it over a little bit more. I do not have a motion platform. I'm hoping that Track Racer is uh, on their way to making one. Cody Reed, what's up, man? <laughs> you wild, you chronic, I can tell you, does not deny up for that. <laughs> oh, it's good. All right. <clears throat> yeah, I got a few barkers. Oh, we've done this a time or two. So, All right. Well, tonight I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to maybe cut a little bit shorter just because we've done so much with the, the AB92. Uh, you guys have heard this bad boy by now. Um, but, uh, so I'm going to actually start working on a few other things, um, cause I want, I've got a couple of other trucks, uh, that I do want to showcase here, um, either end of this week, beginning of next, uh, one of the two. And then I've got some, um, 
uh, some convoy stuff to kind of just hopefully try to work out, figure out what we're going to do. That's kind of what I wanted to know from you guys. Um, so why is the truck? Yes, Kentucky Miles. Yes, the truck is a mod. The trailer is a mod. The sounds are a mod. Um, and then if you guys are warning, before y'all get out of here, make sure if you have not yet, click on that video that's in the description, or you can go back to my last upload, which was the engine swap out. And that is basically being able to run any of the Z Mods engines if you've bought his engines. Um, it's the ability to run any of those engine sounds with anything that you can grab uh, the truck definition file name for. And I'll go in the video, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, I kind of try to walk you through if you have a, no idea what any of that stuff is. Um, and, uh, and, uh, and so it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Cause we essentially can take any, uh, you know, sound that's unsupported from Z mods and you can put it in any truck you want to. So it's kind of nice. Um, so that's how we're rolling the AB 92 here tonight. I think this one runs compatibility with the, and John root is, I believe. Um, and then just by, if anybody else is curious, like where all the gear click sounds and all of the air actuator sounds and the air wipers and all that stuff, that is coming for an update on the 3XX interior pack. So if you've got that, it adds support for all the 380s and 379s that are out there. Uh, and then it also adds support for the 362 from John Rude and also the 352 from Cash Shadow Walker. So, uh, just so you guys know what's, uh, what's coming up. So, so everything's in the description. Um, and I put all three links to all three of these things, including the flatbed that we were rolling tonight as well. So, uh, it's pretty good. So yeah, uh, they'll do it, Sean, eventually. Um, it's just been, you know, it's, 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 it's being a while. Um, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I would, I would like to say that they, they said originally that 142 was going to be a DX12 update. I think 142 will be mods updates for the cons. I mean, for the, um, uh, convoy mode. And then I'm assuming they'll work on the um, they'll work on the update for uh, DX12, which is coming up next. Um, I do know that. So, uh, by the way, if anybody's wanting to know if they're like, yeah, man, I drive for Uline, Uline Logistics. Is that skin available? It is, and I've got a plethora of other skins, master skin packs, and stuff that are available uh, in the Discord. And I'll probably take this one. Um, I'll probably take this one and the 362 and compile these. Uh, into our master skin pack just look for that update coming up maybe in a week or so uh, but if you want this 352 skin if you're in the logistics and you want to grab this it is in the ftg paint jobs in the discord so make sure you join the discord um, other than that man thank you guys for watching the videos man i'd really do appreciate it um, even if it's something you don't like go ahead and flip some stuff up i will tell you that i'm just gonna go ahead and beg y'all to watch some stuff and like some things uh, because we've got uh, we've got wrc 10 now WRC 10 does not release until um, September the 10th. And at least as of now, between all the people that beta test and everything, I still hold a top 10 in the, Korea, in the Croatia stage, which is the one I set for the recording of the last one. So I checked, and I still have a top 10 in the world time on that. So Rally's legit with me. I love it. I love doing it. But nobody, unfortunately, that watches trucks watches Rally. So I will plead with you guys. When y'all start seeing a few of these WRC10 videos, like, go give a like. Go play them in the background because uh, even if you don't even necessarily know if you like them, because it would just be good to see those videos do well because they've um, shown – because the setup is awesome – and because they know I've put some effort into everything I've done, they're they're giving me an opportunity to stream something totally new, and then get it like a week and a half early, which is ridiculous. So, um, so yeah, a little more. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna do a little more, man. I for yeah, I, I've been watching the other YouTubers' views just go. And I got to buy it. They didn't give it to me. I'd have to buy it. And I'm like, eh. I don't know, man. $30 to ride my lawnmower around. My wife would be like, well, just put that $30 into ours. <laughs> oh, crush your homeland. Yeah, man. So it's got all of them. So 2021, the whole entire rally schedule is on there this year. It's pretty awesome. Um, we, watch, watch, yeah, watch loads. Yeah, yeah, sniper. Cool, man. Well, good. Well, you guys will, um, y'all have something to watch. And, uh, Dad simulator. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, dad or husband simulator. Yeah, boyfriend, yeah. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, we will play uh, Forza Horizon. I figure we got a lot of guys in this Discord that will pick up Forza Horizon, so we will. Um, we're just going to require that Sinister Diesel, you guys know him, he waxed us the last time we played that. 
uh, he was using a controller, so we're going to have to get a camera on him, make sure he's using a wheel next time. <laughs> so, anyway, look for some rally stuff. Um, I think it's the 31st, I believe, and that's next Tuesday. So, uh, look for rally next week. Um, I may put out a, a good load of stuff here, and uh, and we'll just kind of see how it goes. I, I, I'm going to have fun with it. I know I will, so – but anyway, man, you guys, uh, y'all have a great one, man. Thanks for a great stream. Uh, you guys are also Thanks there to Millions Crab Gaming. Uh, appreciate it, man. Uh, got a couple of subs in there as well. Kevin McCurry, welcome. Thanks for joining up and becoming a member, man. Uh, Dominic Mariani, thank you there for the five bucks. Super Chat and Mr. Deleep, uh, 79. Thank you there, man. Appreciate it. $20 Super Chat from him. Uh, spending money, way too much money on, the, on payware, so... So there you go. Well, thank you, man. Appreciate it. You guys take it easy. I uh, uh, hope to uh, to connect with you guys here on social. And it just actually just dropped up up there, man. It's a little Instagram FGG official. Go follow. Drop a follow there. Uh, I will be taking pics of the uh, the rig pics and uh, all kinds of stuff. We're going to start getting you some good close-ups of all the stuff you guys actually want to see. And I am almost done with my setup uh, video. I'm going to try to work on a little bit of more editing and voiceovers for that uh, to kind of uh, – kind of encompass all of this in into one thing. So anyway, I hope you guys will be looking for that here hopefully in a week. Uh, that's my that's my that's my goal. Uh but other than that, man, y'all have a great rest of your night. And uh and hopefully we'll catch you here um either let's say what's today? Tuesday, so probably Thursday. Uh Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Uh we should have some things. Saturday's gonna be iffy. Um, but we'll see what we can do. Definitely probably back in the swing of things by Sunday and, of course, Monday by next week. So y'all have a great one, uh, and we'll see you here in the next live stream, guys. We'll see you. Thank y'all. Peace out.